Well, you will now have a chance to walk the infamous halls and see firsthand where some of the most notorious criminals in Canada once lived. The Kingston Pen is now open to the public. Our CTV's Leah LaRock is there in Kingston for the grand opening. What a great assignment you have today, Leah. Well, Michael, I can tell you that I just finished one of the first tours ever offered at Kingston Penitentiary this summer. Now, in a nutshell, it's about a 90-minute tour, and it takes you both inside and outside of the prison. It shows you where they ate, where they slept. Right over to my side here, you can see that there is some barbed wire fence, and that's actually where some visitors stayed. They could stay for about 72 hours every two months. Now, what it is, is it's going to be guided by some summer students who have uh, their job here the entire summer. But what makes these tours really unique is that at each spot that you go to, there is a former correctional officer who, ha who has worked here for a couple of decades, and they're able to add their own personal experience as well as add tidbits of information that you didn't know and that you wouldn't read in a textbook. For example, they show you where some prisoners actually tried to escape. But this is also supposed to be a huge economic economic generator for the city of Kingston. It's supposed to bring over six million dollars to the city and they want to make it a tourism destination. Of course, it's right between King, uh, Ottawa and Toronto and it's want to make people to come and spend their tourism dollars. So it's a really unique tour. I mean, there's still uh, carvings on the wall of where the prisoners were. So it's a very unique and uh, historical experience that really this building predates Confederation. Michael. I can't wait to do that tour sometime this summer. CTV's Leah LaRock, live in Kingston. Thank you, Leah.